Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Jefferson Davis Dixon may have been born in Natchez, Mississippi, but he made a name for himself in the boxing world outside of the United States. After serving in World War I as a photographer, Dixon remained in France, and in 1924, he began promoting fights. He eventually became the owner of the famed Ballet des Sports in Paris, which hosted numerous title fights. He promoted boxing in large cities all over Europe, including London, Berlin, Brussels, Rome, and Barcelona. He also promoted other sporting events, such as figure skating, bike races, hockey, bullfighting, and wrestling. In the late 1930s, Dixon returned to Natchez at the very beginning of the city's heritage tourism movement. In 1939, Dixon began construction of what he built as a replica of Fort Rosalie, on the bluffs between the remains of the original fort and the antebellum mansion Rosalie. The new tourist attraction featured a series of log buildings stretching from Canal Street to the top of the bluff. Unfortunately, the new tourist attraction was short-lived. Dixon was reported missing over Germany during the Second World War and his rendition of Fort Rosalie was abandoned. Today, the only remaining building of his grand vision, the entrance and gift shop, is being restored this year by the Natchez National Historical Park as part of the tricentennial celebration. Hi, I'm Rebecca Weaver, park guide for Natchez National Historical Park, standing in front of one of Dixon's original structures, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.